All right, guys, so I'm sure like many of you, you who ordered the Leatherman, I should say, ARC, they are just now arriving, and I thought today I would do a short little video. I'm gonna do more in-depth videos in the coming days, weeks, months on the Leatherman ARC, but I figured I'd do a nice kind of like first impressions video, getting this out and showing you the kind of first impressions, but the five things that I dislike about this guy initially. So this isn't gonna be about the tool set. This isn't gonna be about like the quality or build of this um, really, but I'm just going to tell you the five things I dislike so far about the Leatherman Arc in comparison to Leatherman's more traditional tools like the Leatherman Charge Plus. So first off, let's jump into something that we don't even have to open up the tool for me to kind of be already dislike or disappointed with with the Leatherman Arc. So first off, this tool is touted like if you go on their website, it has what they say like 20 tools on it. But when you look at a lot of the tools and their usages, a a lot of it's things like having you know a strike face and these are things that are kind of already built into multi-tools like whether you're supposed to or not you know I've certainly used this as a strike face before and I can see that definitely like on the Leatherman arc this is a little bit more built up to be a strike face but at the same time too I don't know if I'd necessarily call that a specific tool for this actual multi-tool so first off I think they're kind of over hyping the tool and kind of overselling it in that regard and I'm not a very huge fan of that now the next one up for me or the next two have to relate to the knife so for me the knife is pretty cool it is made out of magna cut and the cool like that is a cool steel great performance but the things that I dislike about it are first off the thumb stud now one thing that kind of puzzled me when i first saw that the arc had a thumb stud was the fact that leatherman for a long time has been using opening holes and i think opening holes for a multi-tool make the most sense and the reason why this is is whenever you're cutting through things like cardboard paper anything that's kind of fibrous if you cut through something a opening hole is going to just pass right through what you're cutting through whereas if you have a thumb stud i'm sure we've all been there and you're cutting through like things like paper cardboard and that thumb stud catches it's going to rip it's going to tear it's going to add extra friction that just really isn't necessary so so I just drop the multi-tool <laughs> The thumb stud is just really weird for me. Now, the next part for me has to do with blade length. Now, the arc, it's worth noting, was really meant to kind of be the update to the Leatherman Wave. So this is a very Leatherman Wave-sized tool, but you can see here that the blade length on the charge is actually noticeably longer, and the charge is the smaller brother to the wave. So you are getting decreased blade length and cutting performance in that regard. Obviously, once again, the Magna Cut kind of gives you better actual cutting performance, but you have less blade length. So a little bit unfortunate on that one. Um, not the largest fan of those two parts to it. All right, so opening this guy up, or actually before we open it up, the last one on the outside that I dislike is the clip. So the clip for me is in a very weird position. If you notice where the clip is when this guy opens, it's essentially um, on the actual like opening side, whereas in tradition, Leatherman's clips were on the opposite side. So for me, I actually didn't mind this. And I think the mindset, and this is goes for the free series as well, because they have the same kind of like clip configuration. But for me, I, with the original Leatherman clips, they were enough low profile that when you held them, it really didn't feel awkward. And you could honestly hold it and not even know that the clip was really there. Whereas on the newer multi-tools, because of that uh, clip position and because the clip is physically raised higher, it definitely is a lot more noticeable even if you try to grip a little bit lower and try to bypass or like not hit up on this um, clip you're definitely going to notice that it's there regardless to which position your hands are in so it's not unforgivable and it's not like unusable but it is definitely a little bit disappointing for sure
So the last one too, and it's not a huge gripe for me, but it is just a little bit kind of like sad to see, is that there is no more ruler on these guys. So if you guys can see here, of course, with the charge, there is definitely a ruler, both centimeters and inches, and there is no longer a ruler on the free series, which I'm not really sure why they chose to omit this, um, or on the arc, I should say, not free series, but I'm uh, not once again really sure why they chose to omit this, but it just is something that they got rid of, no longer needed and granted I wasn't necessarily whipping out my charge to measure every single thing but it was a nice feature to have on the tool and so it just seems like a weird omission to make because it just I mean it's something that you could still totally do with the Leatherman arc like you can see both of these guys are sitting basically the same I just don't have this guy's pliers closed but essentially you guys can see they both pretty much sit the same so it just is unfortunate to see that um, omitted in the newer multi-tool. Anyways, as far as the Leatherman Art goes, I've had this for less than 24 hours, so I don't really have a whole lot of use on it. So I'm definitely gonna use it, you know, um, play around with it, and you know, see what it's all about before actually, you know, like giving a serious video on it. But I thought it'd be worth, you know, doing some first impressions talking about it. I know a lot of people are talking about it, but I feel like a lot of people are just talking about how cool it is and how, you know, many features there are, and maybe people are hitting a few of these same points. But I feel like a lot of people aren't actually talking about like all of these disappointing features so I thought I'd do like these are some of the unique points and definitely I think a lot of people are missing the whole thumb studs thing because for me when I first saw like before I even owned my Leatherman Arc I saw the thumb stud and I was like this is really strange like why would you put a thumb stud on a knife when honestly you've already been making like perfectly good thumb hole opening blades so anyways weird to me and then of course also there's thumb holes on the other two in tools on here so anyways just weird stuff but that is the Leatherman Arc kind of my first impressions and the five things I don't like about the Leatherman Arc anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed this a little bit of a different video but I thought it'd be more fun to do like an impromptu video to actually get something out for you guys to see actually see the Leatherman Arc and kind of hear what I think of it so far anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video as always God bless and I'm out